So HDL is what we think of as the, the good cholesterol fraction in your blood. And the cholesterol is not good, but the HDL particles um, go into the artery wall and they pull cholesterol out of the cells in the artery wall and they carry that back to the liver for removal from the body. So if there were ways of turning on HDL formation, uh, we feel that that would be another way of helping to prevent heart attacks and strokes in addition to lowering the level of the bad cholesterol, the LDL. And uh, so far, we don't have proof in humans that raising HDL actually prevents heart attacks or that it uh, can uh, improve upon what is already achieved by lowering the LDL. So that's something we're studying. And uh, we have found that the cells that, um, some of the cells in the artery wall, which are smooth muscle cells that go into the plaque and are a big uh, part of the plaque, the blockages in the, cell, in the arteries that lead to heart attacks and strokes, uh, those smooth muscle cells in the plaque seem to be resistant to HDL and they're not able to release the cholesterol. So that discovery uh, which we made a few years ago that, that those cells uh, have a reduced ability to release cholesterol uh, to, to HDL uh, we think is a major reason why cholesterol over accumulates in, in arteries. And that is the major reason for the inflammation in the artery wall and the instability of plaques that leads to heart attacks and strokes. So we're trying to understand why those cells uh, don't release cholesterol. And if they don't, are they, well, they, is there some new therapy that could turn that on to uh, reduce the cholesterol buildup in the artery wall? Smooth muscle cells are a normal part of your, your arteries, so there, there's different types of, of muscle cells in the body, and the ones that, that line your arteries are, and, and are the muscular, uh, uh, the things that cause your, muscle, your arteries to contract and, and relax are the, are the smooth muscle cells. So they're a normal part of the, the muscular layer of your arteries. But in, in the uh, atherosclerosis disease process, some of those smooth muscle cells move into the artery wall. And uh, why they do that isn't exactly known. But, uh, at, but within that artery wall, they change their nature. And they, they, they can be protective in terms of forming uh, a cap over the plaque, which is thought to possibly stabilize the plaque. Mm -hmm. But we're also finding that these smooth muscle cells in the plaque can, can also overaccumulate cholesterol and therefore contribute to the disease, so, uh, which, is, and the, which is a harmful effect. You're, we're trying to understand the basic process of disease, and uh, we may then discover some new way of attacking that disease, or other people may, may uh, discover a new way of, of uh, attacking this disease in, in terms of uh, reducing the cholesterol overaccumulation in the smooth muscle cells, which we think is a major uh, component of why people get uh, plaque buildup and that leads to heart attacks and strokes.